Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today we're going straight into a profound atmospheric shakeup that's hitting Europe right now. And we should be clear, this is not just your, you know, your typical cold snap. We're tracking a massive structural shift mm. driven by something called a Rex block. That's right. And a Rex block, it's, well, to put it simply, it's a high over low pattern, mm -hmm. a big high pressure system just sitting on top of a low. So it just gets stuck there. It gets stuck. And it's basically acting like the director for the entire continent's weather. Mm. Right now, um, it's opening the floodgates. It's letting this massive pool of Arctic air just pour across the eastern two thirds of Europe. It's incredible. We went from a stable, really mild December yeah. to a deep freeze almost overnight. So how does a pattern flip that fast? What was the trigger? The trigger isn't even down here with us. It's way, way up, about 30 kilometers up in the stratosphere. Stratosphere, okay. We detected a record early sudden stratospheric warming, an SSW, back in late November of 2025. I'm record early. The earliest major one recorded in 70 years. Yeah. So, you know, this is a big deal. Hold on. So an event that happened way back in November is causing this deep freeze for New Year's. That feels like a huge lag time. It is, but that just shows you the power of this process. Yeah. The SSW basically caused a, a structural collapse of the polar vortex. That's the containment system for all the frigid air, right? Exactly. And this process, we call it top-down coupling. It's like a dam bursting high up in the atmosphere. It sent two legs of that cold air plunging down. And one of those legs was pointed directly at Europe. Directly which gives us that classic beast from the east that we're seeing play out. That's the perfect term for it. And the temperatures are just, they're brutal. We're forecasting 15 to 20 degrees Celsius below normal in places like Western Russia and Ukraine. We're talking lows of minus 15, even minus 25 Celsius. Yeah, that's not just wear a heavy jacket weather. That's the kind of cold that shuts down infrastructure. Okay, so that's the immediate drama. Mm. But the mechanism, this Rex block, you're saying it's not done yet. It's on the move. It is. This is where the forecast gets really interesting. The whole pattern is actually forecast to flip. Flip how? That block is retrograding. It's moving westward out over the North Atlantic. And as it settles there, it establishes this gigantic atmospheric dipole. A dipole, meaning a complete reversal of the pattern. Total reversal. It becomes west cold and east warm. So the core of the Arctic outbreak shifts away from the east. Are we talking about the UK, Ireland, Iberia being next? Exactly. Western Europe sees temperatures forecast to drop sharply, maybe 10 to 15 degrees Celsius below normal. And at the same time, the other side of that high pressure ridge is pulling up subtropical warmth. Yep. Pulling it right into Southeast Europe. The contrast across the continent in January is going to be extreme. And you can see that in the precipitation forecasts. We're looking at huge amounts of snow for Norway, maybe 75 to 100 centimeters. Well, on the other side of the pattern, you get catastrophic rainfall up to 700 millimeters across the Western Balkans in places like Montenegro. It's a fire hose of moisture off the med. How does a blocking event this powerful sustain itself? It has to be getting some help from uh, from the global pattern, right? It absolutely is. You need what we call constructive interference. We have a weak La Nina, an oceanic anomaly in the North Pacific, and specifically the Madden-Julian Oscillation. The MJO. It's in phase seven. And MJO phase seven historically is known to just lock these high pressure systems into place over the North Atlantic. It provides the fuel to keep the block stable. So that explains the stability, but what are the real world costs of this? What does this all mean for those of us on the ground? Well, the suddenness is the real killer, especially for agriculture. Because the autumn was so mild. Exactly. Winter crops like cereals and rapeseed, they never had the chance to harden off to protect themselves. So when temperatures suddenly plunge below minus 15 C, you're looking at significant widespread frost damage. And I imagine this sudden severe cold in major cities that has a human cost as well. It does. It raises the risk of excess mortality, especially in densely populated Eastern European cities. So the key takeaway here is that an event that started 30 kilometers up in the sky has fundamentally altered the continent's weather in less than two weeks. The dynamism is just, it's incredible. It is. And because this whole pattern is anchored by those deep stratospheric structures, this isn't going away quickly. This volatility is likely to last deep into January 2026. The final thought we'll leave you with is this. A record early event like this raises a big question. Is this a trend toward increasing high latitude volatility? Constant monitoring is essential now because the slightest shift in that North Atlantic Ridge will determine whether this Arctic air makes it as far south as Morocco in the coming weeks.